Hey guys, I'm going to show you my little sheetrock jack invention. Um, first I'll show you what it does and then I'll show you what it is. Here you go. So essentially all I did was I created jacks um, from uh, compressions, the hand pump compressions, and all I did was reverse them. So if they were flipped on the other side, you can clamp stuff, but if you flip them over and clip them, then they'll spread. And that's why I can get the, the jack. So, all I was doing, I'd measure and cut my sheetrock. Place it up. And if I wanted to make it a little easier for myself, I would lift one side up and pump, and then rest, and then lift the other side up and pump. And I would do this until the sheet rested up against the ceiling um, with the, uh, the jacks, and then I would leave those in there, and then just screw in the most amount of screws that I could in order to secure it in place. Once I was done with that, took it down, finished tacking them in, and it was pretty, pretty easy. So let me show you what I did. So I've got these parts right here that when I'm done, all I do is let go of the lever and it slides it down. Or when I'm ready to jack it up, I pump, and it jacks it up. So I have your, you have your base that has a pretty good um, foot, so that way it doesn't fall over. And then you've got your uh, support beams that are for this part right here. I used one by ones, you can use two by twos, doesn't matter, I just used the wood that I had. And then I used uh, another support beam doesn't have to be as big or as small, just whatever suits your needs. And then uh, I obviously had to have these on both the top and the bottom so that there wasn't all that wiggle. And then when I got done, um, this had to be there and this had to be free. Obviously I couldn't screw into this otherwise it wouldn't jack up. Now this part right here, the uh, plastic part, um, is screwed into it. It pops off and I screwed into it and then when I was ready I popped it in place so that way it doesn't slide back and forth. I could have if I had like any taller of a ceiling probably put another uh, 2x4 or 1x1 one one on this side so that it doesn't have the um, little sliding problem um, if it wants to, to go. That one doesn't have it as bad but this one slides out pretty good. I could simply solve that by putting some zip ties around or something like that. But this is probably the easiest jacking method that I've seen um, and the cheapest, by far the cheapest, because the lumber I already had. These I purchased for like 15 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's, excuse me. And then uh, I can reuse these when I'm done. And the lumber, um, I'm not really adding anything because I already had it um, from finishing my basement. So that's that.